Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen, Papa Boris here, playing some more Overfall. We unlocked the last class, the Ranger, in the, in the previous run that we did, and that means that if we beat the game again, I'm not sure what's going to happen. One of the developers posted that, as of the latest patch, you will like what you see if you beat the game with all nine classes unlocked. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of hoping eventually to have like a system where you can buy things, um, you know, with, with unlocks. But anyway, that's getting ahead of ourselves. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a double ranged run again. Oh man, you know what? Maybe I should play with the Warlord again. I've only played with the Warlord once. Yeah, I was thinking it's been a while since I've played the Wizard, but I think I've only done one run with the Warlord, and I like the Warlord. The Warlord is cool. So, this will be the only melee character for the run. Unfortunately, the Warlord doesn't have any ranged attacks, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Four damage, four damage, five damage, pretty good attacks. And what is this? Oh, this, ah, oh, crappy thing. Fury, Precision, Concentration, such garbage. Well, this is pretty good, and yes, I remember now. Right, these are actually really shitty, so... <laughs> it'd be nice to play with the Warlord once, and maybe unlock some better utilities. We did get this... I'm gonna do this. I, I'm sorry, I know it's broken as hell, but we're gonna do this. The adjacent eyes receive 100% more healing, that seems pretty solid. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. What's this thing? Uh, increases critical chance. Oh, wait a minute, that's interesting. The Ranger does kind of go off of critical stuff. So maybe I could do it? Yeah, the trinkets suck anyway. And then we're gonna take this, increases companion health. Although it doesn't quite do it as much as it says it does it, but we'll just put it on. So for the Ranger, is this thing any good? Sure, we'll do that. And we'll, we'll do the crit thing. I mean, it's not like uh, you have to try that hard for it anyhow. And... oh crap, I already run out of good stuff to do here. Oh yes, this, we'll take this, so that every time the ranger kills somebody, we get bonus crit chance. Woo, we're going after crit, woo! Okay, away we go. Ah, yes, it's the head on the upper arm shoulders. It's like you punt, you killed somebody with your fire fist, their head came flying off, and now you're like balancing it on your shoulders or something. Okay, let's keep on going. And here we are. Ooh, there's a bunch of islands over here. I always end up going south, because I guess you're closer to the south? Oh, it's an inn. Got tricked. Should have gone east. Okay, here's the goblins. Huh. We're a dangerous rebel. Um. You know what? We're just gonna help the Everguards. Oh, jeez. I was trying to... Well, crap. I really didn't want to do this. But, apparently, it's unavoidable now. Yeah, the Warlord needs some kind of... Uh, the Warlord needs uh, some sort of uh, better protection than just a reduction. I mean, the AoE reduction sure is nice at, at a distance of two also, but... Hmm. Okay, this guy's got a speed of three. I can actually kite him like by going here. Uh, but then I'm in AoE formation against the Arcanist who has a speed of two. Oh, the Arcanist probably doesn't have enough range. But do I even then want to put reduction on my people if I'm not getting hit? That's dumb. Okay, we're gonna go here then. Put the reduction on just me. And then pass. Alright, Ranger. Oh yeah, I can immobilize. Right, I forgot about that. That's cool. Or I could just do a chop at range 7. Or range 5. Alright, well why don't we just kite this guy? This seems fine. Um, I don't think this person has enough range with a speed of 2 to actually hit us. Fury concentration. Okay, we'll do this. Ah, uh, love the coughing. And then we're going... Wow. Can pretty much hit anybody in the entire map with this ranger. Boink. And we got the 50% bleed. Arcanist goes here. He's going to attack the warlord, I reckon. And there it is. Reduction cuts down one of the points of damage. This guy moves three squares? He moved... Oh, great, because he has a speed of three. Well, that, that would explain why he moved three squares. We're going to go ahead and go here. Go after the Arcanist. I'm going to blind the Arcanist. And... Applies weakness of target as trauma. Nah. Hmm. Oh, I got the... Oh, right, I totally forgot... Oh, my God, I totally forgot about the seismic slam. I come... I, I, this is a pierce up. See, it says range one, but the radius pierce up. Ah, I could have hit somebody on the first round. Well, whoops. Go for that. We get a nice little crit there. And um, I'm going to go ahead and keep this guy off me. Only a speed of two, which I guess is fair because her range is so ridiculous. 
So we're going to shoot and immobilize this guy. Hopefully this guy doesn't have any... Yep, so that's fine. I'm going to go over here. Wait, I don't want to be an AoE formation. Even though that person's blind. Sleep there. Blind, bone poor, regeneration. Crap, I don't actually need anything. Well, I'll put the pre -yamp. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. No, I needed to be next to the warlord so I could regenerate him. Okay, she can regenerate herself, so that's good. And, um, yeah, let's immobilize this guy. Bonk. Oh, wait, weird. Even though he had absorbed and, didn't and she didn't actually, he didn't actually take any damage, it still applied retaliation. Interesting. Well, anyway, that's fine. So he's just going to stand there and bone poor cripple. Eh, whatever. Okay, so the Warlord, I'm not going to heal yet. I bet I can get more healing out of this eventually. I'm going to go for Fury on the the Ranger for the crit. Hey? Hey? All right, and then we'll do this, I guess. Applies weakness if there's trauma. Yes, trauma from the previous turn, so we'll do this. Um, and then do some serious damage. All right, ranged five. I can actually make it if I take a step. So I will take a step. Blind, bone, poor, and fear. All right, let's go for the fury. Let's go for that crit chance. 56, baby. Hiya! Oh, that wasn't actually a crit or anything. It's just normal. All right, so he's enraged. He catch up, catches up to me. I think now is where we're going to do the warlord heal. Nope. Well, the warlord sh or the, this guy should not live, so I'm gonna just do my heal. Hang on, is he really not gonna? Is he really gonna die? Hang on a second. I don't know if he actually is gonna die. He's gonna take six from me and like, um, six from the ranger. He's not actually going to die, so I'll save the heal. I want to put myself in position though to do a good ring around the rosy. If I go here, I think it's probably the best way to do it. So I'll go here. Reduction seems like a good thing to have. This actually deals the most damage, so we'll just do this. Oh, right, he has retaliation, but it's on a cracker. Regeneration, blind bone pour. Can't get rid of it. This is the thing that removes buff, so I am going to be taking some damage here. And... This is the best place to stand to get the most heal, so I'm going to just stand at point-blank range. This is pretty much nothing. So we'll uh, put the, that on. Do this, get hit for three. And get a crit. Dust, food, sneaky. And we found something, actually. That's good. I'm glad. You know what? I'm glad I did that. We actually unlocked something for the Warlord. This is great. Yep. I said at the beginning I wanted to unlock some things for the Warlord. Here we are. So utility skill is exactly what I wanted. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, uh, we'll see what that is in the future. Um... It's weird that I didn't get goblin reputation, because I definitely helped the goblins. By the way, I didn't get any training on the warlord thing, because on the warlord ship, because I still want to sell my dust for frags. You know what it is? Honestly, I feel like that's just the best strategy with dust right now. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but my videos speak for themselves. We're doing pretty well just selling the dust for frags, and using that to purchase food weapon upgrades and actually we can eat a little bit yeah let's eat once food weapon upgrades and um let's see oh yeah runes from the adventuring boats so that you can uh go to the altars and put protection on without having to fight the vorn oh god arena i don't want to do that the arena by the way it's not actually bad uh let me just be very clear it's fine you get some good rewards but um jeez. oh wow let's try to talk him out of it Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, we actually got the bandits to give up a life of crime. That's spectacular. Eight frags, three dust, and four food is a pretty amazing haul. Was it the warlord who did that? Pretty sweet. All right, let's go here. Hi, Psyche. You're pretty sweet. Aw, oh, thanks, Psyche. Um, what I could do is I could tr get some dust and then sell it later at the bazaar. I can also buy a rune freight frags. It's better than I'll get later. But the problem is, like, eight frags now are worth more than 12 frags later because I'm so low on frags and I might want the food. I'm just going to go ahead and invest. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Only a two things happened. And then make them lose my track. Okay, so I got one dust for one frag. I'll eventually make a profit on that. It's not the most exciting haul. I've definitely had that event go where you can sell a bunch more times. But maybe it's just, um... It's a random thing. Please don't turn on me. Go! Oh, that's bad. Oh, 
Jesus, this is bad. It's really, you know, I should have run away, because I know there's a chance that this guy is going to turn on me. So, what can my warlord do? Are they going to attack this guy? So I guess that's what I'm going to do. Got to get all the way up here, put on reduction, even though it doesn't hit the ranger. That's what I got to do. Man's got to do what a man's got to do. Is this guy please have a speed of three? He actually only has a speed of three, which is really good. It's good that they're both melee. It sucks that this guy turned on me, though, because I'm going to get pelted at range now. Um, What can my warlord do? My warlord's going to come up and attack this guy. I don't need to immobilize this guy yet, because he's not even going to make it up. So I only just hit this guy as hard as possible. Range five, I'm already there. I could walk up and heal this guy, but no. What we're going to do here is... Fury! Crit fishing... And is that the most I can do? Oh, let's, let's go for this. Let's go for this with the bleeding. And save it for maybe when I actually want to remove a buff. I could have blinded this one. That might have been the smarter thing to do. Yeah, that would have been smarter. What did he do? What, uh, I think I think he just bugged out a little bit there. I don't think he actually did anything. Well, let's go here. Let's put Fury on my archer. And let's just... Smash, I guess. Right, so now this guy takes some damage, whacks my warlord. Fear on the ranger isn't a big deal. Alright, the ranger runs. Okay, what does this guy got? Nine hit points? Seven? Ah, oh, jeez. Well, there's not a whole lot I can do here. I can go put regeneration, remove two debuffs on the warlord, I guess. And then blind this guy to stop him from, um... Attacking us too much. What's his speed? He's got a speed of two. He actually cannot get up to point blank range. I think this is a good time to do that. So I'm gonna go here, blind that one, and we heal everybody with the seed of creation. Very nice. I could immobilize him, but that doesn't achieve much. So we're just gonna pelt him with the shot. Get a crit, maybe? Nope. So he's not dead. The marksman can't make it up here. He applies fury and stuff and takes the damage. Oh, he volleyed at point blank. That actually does work. Well, luckily, it didn't work enough. So the Warlord, um... It's tempting to let this guy just live, but... Man. I mean, I could go here, blind this guy again, and let this guy live. But I think that's just a mistake. So we're just gonna stay where we're at. I'm not gonna use this, because I might want to use it on um, this guy. Plus, this guy's gonna die, so there's no point in utility skilling him. And then we'll just use our zero, zero cooldown skill to finish that guy off. This guy finally starts to get a move on. And then the ranger is crippled, so she only gets to move once. Well, do I regenerate the warlord or fury? Oh, come on. Come on, is it even a contest? Let's go for the fury. And actually, something I want to do here is immobilize this guy. It doesn't do as much damage, but it stops the melee from coming in, so it lets me divide and conquer pretty effectively. He's immobilized, he hides, and shoots my warlord six. Okay, that hurt a lot. Um, this is back, though. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna walk this way. One, two, three, four, five. So actually, I can, I can walk all the way over here. Yeah, this is this is the move. So we're gonna do this. Heal up the entire team. Um, put reduction on or go for the fury on the ranger. Hmm. Go for the fury on the let's go for the fury on the ranger. Let's do this. And then we're gonna do a seismic slam. That's what I like about the warlord. I mentioned in the last video that it'd be nice for melee characters to have some um, ranged attacks of some sort. And like see the warlord here is so helpful just because he has that. Alright, do I wanna do blind on the marksman? Well, I cannot kill the marksman, unfortunately. So I think I do wanna blind him. We're gonna step away. Regenerate the Warlord and get rid of that. She healed him for three, because I guess... Why did she heal him for three? I don't actually know why she healed him for three. Because that skill doesn't apply any direct healing. Even if her Seed of Creation popped, it would only have healed him for two. I don't know why it was three. Also, I was supposed to blind this guy, so I just messed it up completely. Whoops. Well, we'll shoot him. This is guaranteed bleeding because she has the concentration. And we got a crit! Hey, from that epic fury! Alright, well, let's get up here. And blind and bone pour. Bone pour is only 50% chance. This, I already. Oh, I actually don't have reduction. This guy should be dead, though. If he's not dead, am I gonna want him to have bone pour? No, I'm gonna want to have reduction. Okay, I'm sorry, this is very self congratulatory, but I'm pretty impressed with how that fight went. I was outnumbered 3 to 2. 
But using the terrain to my advantage, I was able to actually end at full health, and we got a Forsaken Reputation and 8 frags, so we're in spectacular shape here. Wow, that was great. Now this Farmer's Wife quest gave us a reputation early on, and this should give us another 2 reputation from the elves when we finish it. We don't have a friendly option here. Oh, we do. Oh, the Warlord's like a super friendly dude. And unfortunately, we cannot... Yeah, we can't get her to come with me, at least not with these people. All right, where's the elven farmer? Mm, I'm gonna go there. We're gonna we're gonna swing around though. We're gonna get this island and maybe this one, and then swing back. Calm him down. Oh, warlord! Even his calming presence could not calm down the wild guy. Let's go here. See what we can get. Aye. Um, I think I think these pirates are just joking around, right? Two food and forsaken reputation. All right, we'll just leave. I love doing the morally terrible thing in this game. It just gives me a special pleasure. I should have really gone to that island. That was a bit of a misplay. There's no reason not to go there. It wouldn't have cost any time. Um. Oh yes, the hollow. Okay. Can we? Can we? Do we get like a special option here? All right. Hollow reputation plus one. And rewards for food. Oh, yes. I, I really liked the rogue suggestion, though, of having the hollows pretend to leave and then not really leaving. That was the best. Okay, so let's go to the adventuring boat here. And we're going to recruit. Okay, well, we played with the Pyromancer and the Warlock last time. And the Witch Doctor and the Warlord is a combo I used to hilariously great effect before. I could do something trollish, like take the Ice Maiden. Hunter, I'd have two characters that have a blind ability. That might be overkill, but it also might be kind of awesome. Um, hmm, maybe I will take, like, a second melee character, because, I mean, I don't want to do the, the Mesmer or the Rift Stalker. They're just sort of crappy. Geomancer! Oh, God, the Geomancer. Okay, we'll take a Hunter, but I'll, I'll do the Geomancer again. Who, who, wh where was the Geomancer? Was the Geomancer with the, uh, the Warlord and the Witch Doctor run? I can't remember. It's been a while. Alright, now let's go grab the hunter. You know, I, I think the hunter's still my favorite companion, but the pyromancer was a lot of fun. I really enjoy. I, li I like the pyromancer and the warlock too. They're both just great. Alright, I don't want to fight the Vorn until I get my fourth person. I think going there now would be a bit foolhardy. And I'm losing some time going back here, but at the same time, it it's too elven reputation, and even with two characters with a blind utility skill, um, not being the most effective against hollows. Really, everyone's effective against hollows. Because the hollows are just so bad. So I don't mind uh, having, like, not the perfect utility skills against hollows if I end up siding with the elves. Oh god, this is the arena place. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a little bit of a detour to go to this ship. And we're gonna put the bazaar on the map and trade away the most of my dust. Let's see, like, with three, just in case I need to sail away from something once. And food. I'm gonna go down to 24 frags. This lets me get two different weapon slash hilt upgrades. Not the random ones, but that's good enough. What is this? Oh, darn it. So I lost an island. I lost an elven island for the bazaar, unfortunately. So it kind of slows down my elven progress. That one quest, finding the dude's wife. Um, yeah, the rewards here aren't great, but we get free reputation. Anyway, finding that dude's wife gives you three of the five you need, but unfortunately I haven't really been lucky getting the rest of the five, because there's no forests, and the forests I've seen aren't the right forests. Swamp phobic, oh jeez. Alright, so we got this. Um, let's, let's argue with him this time. Oh, he doesn't agree. Crap. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. Seems like working on him. Perfect. Warlord, such a diplomat. Is that? That's, that's the bazaar, right? Crud. I can't... Yeah, that, that's definitely the bazaar. Alright, so we're gonna go here. Lots of goblin places. Might end up fighting the dwarves. Don't mind fighting the dwarves. My least favorite people are definitely the um, elves and the goblins to fight. So that means I don't want to side with the hollows or with the dwarves. Oh, uh, please don't have a troll. Hey, we got, we got it without fighting the troll. So four free food. Good times. Let's bring over here. And see what's so helmet over here. Alright, let's go help them. 
Oh, wow. Well, that's great. We don't have to fight any Vorn, and we still get Goblin Reputation. That's fantastic. So now, I think we're tied. Goblin and Elf are the same. There's an altar here. Of course, I'm going to forget about it by the time we get there. Let's help the pirate. I'm such a genius. And there's two frags. More human and forsaken. Oh, those are the, I think, hollow homelands or something? Oh, God. All right. Well, we'll take him to a hotel. That worked. That, that this seems to work most of the time. I wonder, you know, it just, I can't believe this just occurred to me, but what if he's actually talking in, like, a code that you can understand if you're a clever person? Unlike me, that would actually be the best. Okay. Let's taste the herb. Okay. Two frags. Good times. Alright, so let's go past the inn. What is this? Oh, that's the bazaar, yes. So we're kind of at the edge of the map here because these are the hollow homelands, unfortunately. Alright, um, I think you want to keep talking to them. I think if you just stand there. Um, Alright, yeah, I think if you just stand there, they might attack you. I would rather uh, not fight them. And actually, we got lucky here. Oh no, we did not get lucky. What the? Wait a minute, am I, all, am I fighting all of them? No, 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 these, these, these are on my team. Crap. Okay, well sometimes you just have to fight these two by yourself. Here I guess we're getting help from our friends, so that's fine. Alright, I'm gonna stand here, because here I can put reduction on my entire team, and still reach this guy with a seismic slam. And I'm hoping that they just go after the guys who are near them, you know, because that would be logical. Alright, that person's on our team. Yeah, this is a five-on-two fight here. I'm not too concerned about it. It's crippled. Oh, this wait, this is this is a shaman. I did not miss that. Uh, I guess when it comes to orcs, even shamans carry two axes. Alright, so the hunter can heal himself completely with this mending retreat. And should he? He's only missing like two hit points. We'll save it. Um, should I blind this guy? Now yeah, let's blind him. Blind. And we'll do the hardest hitting thing I've got. So I've got two stacks of bleeding now. All right, the ranger, let me think about this. So shaman's gonna go down to th three hit points. I can just hit him with a, you know, pin shot. I maybe should like put myself to where the warlord can walk and heal them both, but I'm not sure it's actually gonna matter because um, they're like, everyone's at really full health anyhow. All right, well, we'll just do the crappiest shot I've got and let the shaman die of his wounds. So now the scout heals up and attacks the warrior. All right, so the warlord now is gonna take some damage. Do I, do I even really need this warlord here? Whatever, I'm just gonna go in here, so I'm gonna snake through them and heal my team up to full. Uh, put fury and concentration on the ranger and just pass. The shaman's dead. And this guy's so far away, plus he's going to be attacking the scout, I bet. I don't see why he'd run after my people. So that one died, and the warrior goes. He stays put and attacks the scout. Okay, so the hunter now. Agony? Oh, God, he's got agony on. Crud. I cannot get rid of that. Well, let's see. We'll go for the stability, fury, aegis, and... This is the hardest hitting thing I've got. Alright, so she cannot cure the Warlord of his agony, unfortunately. But she can hit this guy for a bunch of damage, so we're gonna go in here. Fury? The does Fury how does Fury stack? Oh, it stacks by round. Hmm, that's too bad. So I can't actually get like super fury. Alright, and the scout, as long as the scout kills this guy before the warlord gets to take the agony damage, we're gonna end with full health. And that's exactly what happens, perfect. Alright, orc reputation plus one. Yeah, Alright, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up with the orcs. Yeah, we're just, hang on. Where are the, the orcs are here? Yeah, we're just starting with the orcs. Not the greatest. You know, I really should go to this bazaar, I don't know why I'm not going there. Ah, goblin reputation. Sweet. I like this quest a lot. Do, 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 do. The dwarves, you know, they really are bad. They're 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 kind of bad. They're enslaving the goblins. Oh, geez, what's going on here? 
Oh, man. All right, we'll help him. I think that's the only way to get, you know, goblin reputation out of this. Okay, so let's get in here. Put on the reduction. And do a slam. These are both melee, which is nice. This guy's a speed of four, so he will get up to my warlord, unfortunately. Oh, he's going after the goblin. That's perfect. I'm glad he chose to do that. So I might end this fight with full health. It's a pretty small group. It's a four on two that we have going on here. And they chose to attack my NPC ally, which I will not complain about. Okay, the ranger can stay where she is. She can hit everybody from here. So nobody needs this. This doesn't really matter about the bone pour. So fury it is. And yeah, let's just do five damage. Maybe get a crit. Oh, yes, we got the crit. Nice. So the hunter doesn't need to do a mending retreat. I think we'll just keep the same strategy of trying to get crits. And we'll hit him with the hardest hitting attack we've got. Pop. So the Blightmaster, he's, he's on our side. He's gonna deal some damage, four damage. So the Warlord should be able to finish this off, unless he misses is the only thing that would cause this to keep on going. Let's put Fury on himself, since hopefully the turn ends here. Boom. And four food and one rep. Excellent. All right, are we done with the goblins? Almost, not quite. Darn, and uh, just like last time, no goblin islands are visible at all once we get up to four. All right, so let's see, we'll go about upgrading our equipment. So the ranger, wow, range increased by two? I mean, hmm, that's so interesting. <sighs> I mean, by two, wow, that's, that. she can like touch anybody from anywhere on the map with that. I was thinking of, you know, proceeding with the whole crit strategy and just getting a crit chance increased by 10% so it happens a lot more often. Oh man, range increase by 2. That means that one skill goes at 9 and her other skills are at range 7. Sure does add to her flexibility, but you know what, no, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna do this for fun. So if I lose, then I'll never do it again, but let's go for the crit chance and get those fun, fun crits. Alright, Warlord, the only useful one that I'd take is this percent chance to pierce through defensive conditions um yeah he's not really going for crit or anything oh man that's an interesting proposition should i pay the frags for it this is basically like the cost of a rune from an adventuring ship later but you know what i'm just gonna say that this has been going really well so far and i don't know might as well ride ride high i'm just gonna 40 percent chance to apply clear but it's actually pretty crappy but we'll put it on because i already paid for it I figure, you know, I might as well do it since things are going really well. I shouldn't assume they're going to start going badly. In fact, why don't we just sell off this dust for 12 frags. So now I've got money and I have some weapon upgrades. And this, have I been to this goblin before? Is there a buoy here? I don't know. Maybe I have been before, but the buoy got taken off. All right, there's another goblin place. Crud. No goblins here. Drag down the pirates. Uh-huh. I don't really believe the pirates. So, Warlord, what do we got here? Speed of three, speed of three. So I can just saunter up like here. And put Fury on the Ranger and just whack this guy and he can't get back up to me. Or he can't get up to me at all. All right, so she now has a 76% critical chance. Uh, that's pretty great. This doesn't do anything. Um. Does she get concentration? She already has concentration. Honestly, we'll just do this, even though it's pretty irrelevant. Um, it's a little bit of extra damage with the bone pour. And we'll go for this, because she has concentration. She's guaranteed to hit the bleed. So we'll do this guy, who's already been damaged. No crits. All right, the hunter is probably just going to chuck a volley in here. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so we'll go up here. These guys still can't reach me. We'll go for the fury. And this guy should live through the volley, unless, of course, if there's a crit. That guy got crit. Alright, so the reason I was wondering about that is I didn't want them to get enraged. Reduction and regeneration. Alright, they get into crit formation here. Nobody needs any healing still, so we're gonna go here. Um, blind and bone pour? Sure. And then we're gonna cleave them. Miss that one, unfortunately. Alright, so they're both going together. They both have four hit points and one reduction. It's really not that difficult to kill them both off. Let's put the Fury back on herself. And now go for the high damage shot. 
This will kill him through the regeneration. And the hunter is still at full health. Blind doesn't work. We can get rid of... Um, either of these would be good to get rid of. I don't if I miss here, but if I hit him, he's dead. And he's dead. Alright. Two food. Not the greatest reward there. But let's try... Oh, there's another goblin island. Alright, let's go here. Oh, there's a bunch of goblin islands. Well, if none of these have goblins on them, that would be a disappointment. Aha! It's the teacher. Um, alright. Alright, let's help him out. Let's go talk to the kids. Come on, warlord. Do some diplomacy. Oh, man. Maybe maybe they don't have anything here. Anyway, it, gets, it, gives, it gives you the reputation. So, we're there. We're done. We made it. Friends with goblins. Let's go meet up. And... Where's the goblin territory? That'll be the last thing we do here. Wow, the foreign have gotten busy. I did take a quarter of the bar to do this. And this island is literally in my way, so I should really stop by. Crops grow faster. Druid expel. Eight frags. Alright, good thing. Glad I stopped by. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna get this adventuring ship real quick. And I'm going to purchase a rune. So, this isn't do everything I need. I still need three more runes, because I, I have two. I pay one to get my fourth adventure, and then I um, need three more to protect everybody. So it's, uh, you know, I, I didn't have to spend those frags. Like, I could have not bought the upgrade, and then I could have had the frags already to buy an extra rune. What are we doing here? All right, we're, we're finding the kid. Let's see, are we going to fight a troll? Yeah, we're fighting a troll. Sometimes you just get the kid into the house. Here, we have to fight the troll. The troll gets immunity to everything. Can I... Oh, there's no way to get rid of all this stuff, unfortunately. Hmm. Alright, we'll go here. We're gonna put that on, and then Seismic Slam. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to stick a hit or two in this fight. I don't want to be in AoE formation against this troll, though. So we're gonna jump over there. Put on Fury to maximize my crit chance, and let's get rid of one of these buffs. So that's actually kind of nice that I get to get rid of one. No crit. Vigor and Define. So he can be disabled now. He can be immobilized. But that's about it. And we'll take a step off to the side here. I guess we'll do the same thing. Oh, wait, no, I could have gotten rid of one of those buffs. Ah, shoot, that was stupid. Um, yeah, none of this stuff does anything, so I guess we'll just do the 4 damage attack and wait to bleed him later. Alright, Cave Troll goes after... Manda. Punch. Oh wow, that was that was a pretty epic miss. Can we get away without taking damage in this fight? I'm not really sure that we can, but we can certainly try. Let's um put more fury on the ranger. Keep that gravy train going. Ranger gets out of AoE formation. And sure we'll do blind bone pour and whatever. Um I can't bleed him, but I can immobilize him. So maybe the warlord shouldn't have come up here. That might have been the more proper thinking. All right, let's get rid of an, a buff that I should have done last time. Got rid of the vigor, so we'll go for the bleed. Okay, so the warlord's gonna take one whack here. I could have kept the warlord back, and then I wouldn't have had to do this. But the troll missed twice. That time the blind did help because blind does reduce accuracy. So you know, I could I, I I can attribute that partially to the blind, whereas the first time was just pure luck. The ranger, does the hiddenness go away? It goes away. Alright, so she'll stay where she is. She's in a fine place. Go for the fury. And then hardest hitting thing I've got. Alright, got a crit on that one. Move up. Oh, there's no reason I should have moved up there. That was silly. Now, let's go for the fury on the hunter. Last attack I have. So, two misses from the troll, and we actually kill him without any damage, so pretty lucky there. And we got three dust and a dwarf reputation, so it's fine. I'm not going to side with the dwarves, obviously, but it, every little bit helps here for getting up to my fourth adventure. Mm, one foot in the grave. Um... <laughs> Alright, I guess I lost a dust and killed a man, so that was a thing I will not try again. Gosh, how far away are these island are these goblins? Alright, they're real close. So we're gonna stop at the last island, go here, and then that'll be the end of this video. Ah, yes! A Forsaken, yes, we'll help you. Alright, let's give it a try. I don't know what I'm trying. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, no, 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 no. Four trolls? No. Definitely not. All right, well, we'll just get the one reputation and get out of here. I guess that's like a super challenge thing, you know, if you have all four people or if you're just crazy good at this game, you can try that. I will not be, however. Here we are at the Goblin Homeland. Yes, uh, I'm going to take the frags. I've already got a lot of food. The frags can be used to buy runes. So I need like six more frags to be able to buy, to go up to 24, to be able to buy two more runes and then be able to put one round of protection on everybody. But that'll be next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe as you are often want to do, and I will see you next time. Take care.